it's Jack from Cultaholic.com here, joined by the one and only, the, the good guy, Tomatonga. Oh, you stumbled there. You well, stumbled. I didn't stumble, I, I was just thinking. It's 2019, all right? Yeah. You know what that means? New Year, new you. That's right. New Year, new me. Good guy, Tomatonga. Okay, well... One thing I was going to ask was, we were obviously at Corican Hall last night, you very graciously got us in, and first of all I must also express my gratitude because you've made our trip to Japan even more interesting than it already has been. I think it's been very, very fun. We've done, we've done all kinds of stuff. We've went for dinner, we met the sponsor, he was an awesome guy as well. So thank you so much, man. I do have to sincerely say that as well. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm very. If you're happy... I'm happy. The good, the good guy. It's all, yeah. Um, but I do have to say though, during that match in Corican Hall, we did see you think about using the exposed turnbuckle for Yano. Then you decided, no, no, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to play fair. You know, it's easy to say it's a new year. Yeah. Turn over a new leaf. But action, action is harder to follow. So there was, you know, habits is hard to break. So I, I, I try. I, I'm trying. I can it, see the conflict. Yes. You're like, oh, no. Mm. It's, it's harder to try. So it's easier to say to say that I can do, 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 do. But the actions, the habits, I will try. I'm trying. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. All right, cool. Um, we also saw yourself and Tangalo come out a very cool entrance of Wrestle Kingdom with the masks and the lights and the new theme music as well. Uh, what inspired the whole look there? What was, the, what was that all about? I'm a big comic book, comic, f comic, com <laughs> comic book. I'm a comic book fan. Okay. And uh, Red Hood, I'm a big fan, and I'm I'm a big fan of cosplay. So I have an image, I have a vision of of what wrestling should go, and why not lead that way? So with everything, with comics, with the Marvel, with DC, with everything coming out, why not pioneer that way with wrestling? Wrestling needs to change. And I think God, Gorillas of Destiny, could lead that way. New Japan Pro Wrestling can lead that way. Okay. It was very cool. Unfortunately, you did, you did lose the match. But then, the next night, it was a more positive night for you guys because mm. you were rejoined with your old friends, Yujiro Takahashi and Chase Owens. They've rejoined your, well, the only wing of the Bullet Club, I guess, these days. They forgave me. Mm. They forgave you. And that way us. Around. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I should say us. Us, okay. us right? Mm. Because, I mean, we did turn on them. But in circumstances, they did not uh, agree with our decision in July in San Francisco. So I'm glad they forgave. 2019, New Year, New Me. I said I was sorry to everyone, including Chase, Yujiro, Tokyo Pimp, Crown Jewel. I'm sorry. 2019, I'm turning over a new leaf and I'm trying to be the new me. Please, please, that's all I'm asking. Please forgive me, everyone, fans included. Can you forgive me? Of course, I've already forgiven you a long time ago. <laughs> um, now, um, moving on to your specific individual wrestling style, because mm -hmm. I think having watched you in the past, I don't see many guys moving the way that you do, whether it's your entrance or whether it's the actual... The thing that sticks in my mind is where you hit the ropes, change direction, you're like on the floor sometimes. Was that something that you had to develop over time or did that come naturally to you when you first began? Uh, a mixture of both. Okay. A mixture of both experience and uh, I like to think of myself as an artist and, and bring something new to the table. The one thing that I, I made up in my mind when I joined wrestling, when I decided to be a wrestler was what can I do to, to be different? What can I do to change the game? To, to be I may not be a champion but I can be an artist. That's cool. Um, speaking of that, you said when you decided to be a wrestler. Now, a lot of guys when they come into the business, you can get in from all kinds of angles I suppose. Some people grow up as wrestling fans. Some guys are bodybuilders. Some are in different sports first. You came out through a wrestling... Wrestling's been part of your life from, well, forever, I guess. Yes. How, how has that been? What's that like growing up in wrestling? Does it change your outlook on the business? Have you got a different outlook on the business from somebody, I guess, from the outside coming in? Uh, yes. Yes and no. Okay. Um, the, the only reason why I would say no is because uh, my, my family didn't want... My mother, my, my father didn't want us to be wrestlers. Okay. They, uh, they were... Roller coaster. Yeah. They wanted us to be lawyers, doc doctors, you know, the, the 
typical. I mean, how can you blame parents? They, of course, doctors, lawyers. Yeah. They all make the big money, right? Yeah. Sort of. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Right? But, you know, I. That's not. That's not who we are, and that's not who I am. And 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 I grew up watching my dad being a wrestler, and and I guess just watching him growing up just made me become that right okay yeah yeah, yeah. Fair I can enough. go with that right um, also I guess you were telling us a little bit earlier and we were speaking to Hanare a little bit as well about um, the dojo the New Japan dojo the yes. process of making your way making your beginning in New Japan pro wrestling uh, how long is that process it depends on you okay it depends on how how uh, dedicated you are to this uh, business to this to this process um, I lasted three years. That was a long time. Okay. <laughs> so I guess I wasn't that dedicated. <laughs> but, but other guys have done it faster. Um, you know, it, it's it's New Japan is is uh, has a system that they are uh, there's checkpoints, and and if you don't reach that next checkpoint, then you'll stay where you're at. You You've got to really earn it, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, you got to earn it. You um, gotta earn it. We've all heard stories as well, I guess, about how grueling a process it is, about how hard work it is. Are those stories true? Is it incredibly, incredibly hard? Very true. Mm. You have to understand, this business is something special. This isn't like go to school to be a, uh, I, I don't know, what do you go to school for? I was going to be a writer and then I ended up, I don't know, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go to school to be a writer. Everything that, uh, I guess, the typical stuff that you go to school for, writer, mm. uh, lawyer, uh, mm. go back to doctor yeah. and all that. This is not it. Wrestling is not it. This is a grassroots job. So it's. I'm lost. What, what were we talking about? I was saying like how <laughs> we we're talking about how tough it is to get through the yes, dojo. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So so I mean it's creativity. Everything. It's it's not a normal job. You can you can. You have to be creative. You have to do. You have to work hard. You have to push forward. And and there's no like. One, two, three, and then you get the job. No. no, it's like a one to nine to five to six. It's it's a maze to figure out. Yeah, you know. And everyone does it their own way. And exactly. And I guess out of a, out of a lot of promotions in the world, New Japan's the one that attracts attracts truly special talent. Sometimes that I guess is why a guy like Will Ospreay can make his way over here and become a big star because he's very unique and he's very skilled. Uh, it also, I guess, attracts kind of. I was about to use Yano as an example of somebody who's a little bit different, a little bit unorthodox, mm -hmm. maybe. But then I've heard that he has a serious amateur wrestling past as well. Yes. Yes, he's actually, he, he can go. He's a, he's a shoe fighter. Right, right. right? And you wouldn't think that just from looking at the way that he, no. he jokes around and everything. I had named, I had told him, on our walk, our walk over here, I had told him, you know, there was guys that taught me shoe fighting, mm. you know. Um, a lot of, one was Nagata, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Suzuki. But Yano was actually another guy that I may not have gotten in the ring with him and learned some stuff, but I would watch him teach other guys. And that is the same effect as getting in the ring of somebody. Well, a little bit more. Mm. Um, well, I guess we should wrap up by talking as well about we've, we've seen how you work, we've seen how you wrestle, we've seen how you operate here in Japan. We've also seen how you guys party as well. We had a little bit of a heavy night, well, I certainly did. I regret it the next morning at uh, Bad Luck Fale's uh, bar in uh, was Shibuya. It Shibuya, Shibuya, not Shinjuku, yep. Shibuya. I'm getting used to the different locations. But um, you've also got one coming up over in April in New Jersey, I believe. Good man, what Thank a good you. man. What? Hey. I'm a pro, I'm a professional. Is it because you're invited you're bringing this up? Oh, not at all, no, no, I would have done it anyway. <laughs> hey, yes, April 7th, we are having a Bullet Club block party in New Jersey. We are a block away from uh, their event, I'm not gonna name who. Okay. Them who cannot be named. Okay. But it's the day after we are at Madison Square Day after we are at Madison Square Garden with New Japan Pro Wrestling and ROH. Mm. I should ask you as well, just before we sign off too, about that show, that New Japan Ring of Honor crossover show. What can we expect without any giving any away any anything that you may already know, Ooh. what can we expect from that show at Madison Square Garden? Because it is a groundbreaking show. You can expect the New Japan style, what you all love, the Tanahashi style, the Okada style, the Tamatonga style, huh? Bullet Club style. I mean, that is what you all love. That is what is different, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that I think that probably will be a very important show as well. Very, I think it could be open very. the gateway to something new. 
We hope. We hope for New Japan yes. Pro Wrestling. Yes. Um, well, everybody, thank you very much for watching this interview with the good guy, Tama Tonga. I've been Jack from Cardholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to, at Jack the Jobber. Do you want to plug your own Twitter? I'm sure they all know where to find you, but if you want to... I, I really don't know what my Twitter or my okay. Instagram is. That's I, cool. Hey, but you can follow me. Follow um, him and he'll... He'll send you to I'll point me. you in his direction. Uh, yeah. um, you can follow all of us generally at Cultaholic. <laughs> if you want to check out our Patreon as well, you can at patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And if you haven't done so already, do not forget to hit subscribe and to join us.